Hello YouTube, Millennium X17 here. Time for some side content hero. This time it's number five. So, this time about I decided to do some wandering of a different sort and I wandered online. Started checking out a bunch of different websites, a lot of cars for sale that you can actually buy between cars, boats, planes, just a little bit of everything. I looked it over, it's pretty cool. I ended up, however, on a site called uh, for a show. It was a parody of an anime called Princess Robot Bubblegum, which check it out it's fucking hilarious and as a huge uh, fan of anime myself i thought it was hilarious especially the uh, the uh, the merchandise section was called master hentai's merch emporium which is just really funny i suggest anybody to go to that uh, site and check out the list of the episode names it's just it's really funny after that i wandered into michael's living room and watched tv for a whole long time but since i really can't show that we should probably move on uh, after that, here's the thing, over the last couple of days at work and around, a lot of my friends have been telling me about how uh, you can influence the stock market by going to uh, a place, bombing it, and then their, their competitors, their stock will drop and their competitors will raise, and I'm like, okay, I tried it out, It's I, I think I invested in cool beans and bombed a, uh, a bean machine, and it worked. It seemed to. I tried it again two or three other times. It really didn't. It's totally hit or miss. It's. I honestly, after looking into it for a good while, it's really not that reliable as a viable source of income. So, uh, it, at this point in time, I decided to try something different. It's the Peaks Valleys style of investment. What I look for is when you look into a stock, look at a stock that's massively red, that's negative by a huge amount of percentage. And then look at the graph. If they're still on a downward slope, buy up them and then wait a few days. And it's still hit or miss, but this seems to be way more reliable in the long run. And then upon wandering for these two days waiting to see what will happen, I wandered across. Oh, hey, check it out. A Bugatti Veyron knockoff. So, oh, yeah, you better believe I reappropriated that bad boy and put it in Michael's garage. After that, which point in time, due to the requirement for Trevor's heist mission, took Michael to flight school. And something that I wasn't expecting that actually did happen was he maxed out his flying skills in the middle of the course before he even uh, finished the entire flight school, which that actually surprised me. But, you know, it's overall, the flight school itself is easier. They don't ask you to do as crazy a maneuvers than the flight school in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. But also that might just be me and the fact that the controls for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas were horrible. But overall, it's easier. It's not too bad. It's not the hardest thing. The helicopter ones are definitely the hardest part. Uh, after that, after leaving the flight school, I checked out on my Peaks Valley stocks to find out that I actually did massively well. Uh, in the long run, looking ahead now, if I'd stayed in the Life Invader, it would have been even better. But neither here nor there. So, you know, I'm learning how to make money slowly. It's a long process. I definitely need a lot of money in this game, and at this point in time, I will leave you with a little something like this. See, the long story short is this happened during flight school, and all I have to say is this is why you shouldn't be carrying nitroglycerin in your airplane. So, you know how it is, but either which way, until next time, guys have yourselves a good day. Slow your approach as you descend onto the road. If you touch down smoothly, your plane is going to stop pretty fast.